made it home, I dug her out, then I made her one of my aces. Marijuana fragrance, this tree here is outrageous. Want me to play in your city, send an email to my agent. It's time to find out who we're going to face in the 2016 World Series. Texas is going to end up winning Game 6. But here we go, Game 7 in Seattle will take that one home. So we're going to be going up against the Seattle Mariners in the 2016 World Series. I know, kind of a surprising matchup. You know, the Mar the, <laughs> the Marlins and the Mariners. I like to call them the uh, like the Ma Arlins with three A's, kind of like triple A. Get it? Uh. Anyway, here's a look at the uh, Rangers roster too, just to see kind of what we would have faced if we had gone up against the Rangers. Both both teams very formidable squads. Uh, the Rangers a little bit t more top heavy. I think the Mar the uh, Mariners are a lot deeper than them. But anyway, the game one of the World Series pitching matchup will be Danny Holton versus Matt Moore. We are in Miami for game one. We do have home field advantage after the AL did win the All Star game this past season in this franchise. So. That's a big advantage. Then we got our ace, Matt Moore, going. He has been absolutely dominant in this postseason. He's pitching on more than full, full days rest, five days rest, whatever you want to call it. I guess four days rest, excuse me. Um, you know, he's got probably, what, eight days rest at this point, and we've had a lot of off time after. When you sweep a series like that, you get a lot of off days in between series starts. You can see here some of the stats right there. The thing with this Mariners team is a lot of their young prospects that they have have just really worked out well. They do not have Taiwan Walker. He is on the Chicago White Sox. But James Paxton, who is originally a C potential, has gone up to a B potential. So he's an 89 overall. Holton's a 94. King Felix is a 99. They have, uh, you know, Justin Smoke is like a 91. Mike Zanino is in the mid 90s. They just have a lot of guys who have panned out for this team. They also have a few new guys, a few new faces like Matt Joyce. He's on the team now. Jesus Montero, I believe, plays first base because I think Zanino. Actually, I can't remember if Zanino starts. I don't know. I don't know how they worked that up, but Montero's progressed really nicely. I guess I guess Zanino didn't start, although he's like a really high overall, but Montero's progressed nicely. Kyle Seagroves having a really good year in real life. Is uh, you know, he's been up there, so here we go. Two two count two Aces Montero in the top of the first inning. We're gonna get him swinging. So Matt Moore goes a one, two, three first inning to start at this ball game. That will be his first strikeout. So taking a look at the Marlins lineup right here, we have the same lineup we throw out in game four of the LCS. Solano still down there in the 8-hole. Brantley up there to 2. Here's Xander Bogarts. The first pitch he's going to see from Danny Holton. He's going to take the deep right field. Right fielder Matt Joyce is going back at the track. And that is gone. That's actually not Matt Joyce. That's Michael Saunders. Excuse me. But Xander Bogarts takes the first pitch of the World Series that he sees and takes that one out of the park. Not a good start to the game for Danny Holton. Xander Bogarts. Showing some of that power. He does have a lot of power potential. He has a big, like, six foot three frame. It's like 6'3", 190 or something. So he, uh, a lot of scouts think when he fills out in the later on years, he'll uh, he'll really start to hit for some power. Maybe hit a lot of doubles. You see that a lot with Manny Machado, who just hits doubles in his sleep, as one of my uh, as one of my Twitter followers said today. But um, yeah, you know, guys like that who had a lot of doubles when they're young like this end up when they start to fill out. Really like they hit a lot of home runs when they get a little bit a uh, little bit bigger, but. Bogarts, another one of those guys who's projected to do a lot of that, and he shows it right there. So Brantley gets on with the single. Now Giancarlo Stanton up. Stanton hits a little dribbler in front of the mound. Montero to field it. Fires to first in time. Almost like a sacrifice bunt there. So a runner on second, one away for Logan Morrison. Logan Morrison's going to hit this one into center field for a base hit. Here comes the center field to George Springer. He's going to come up firing. Cut off by Smoke to throw home. Not in time. Brantley scores. Lomo moves up to second. And we have runner on second with one now. Jorge Soler up. Soler is going to take this one into deep right field. This one is going to just get over the head of Michael Saunders. That's going to bounce off the wall. Soler on his horse, rounding second. He's going to head for third. And Soler is going to be in there safely. It's an RBI triple for solar power. Jorge Soler now 1-1 count to Vinny Machado. Still in the first inning. Machado hits this one to deep center field. And that one is going to clear the glove of George Springer. And it's a two-run shot for Vinny Machado. And the Miami Marlins have jumped out to a 5-0 lead here early on. And it's been an absolute blowout so far. Looking like this could be another blowout. As we've seen a lot of them this postseason. I think I'm going to turn the difficulty up for the next game. I've been playing an all-star. I'm going to at least turn the hitting up to the next one up. Which I think is Hall of Fame. I'm not really too sure. But um, either way. I might turn the pitching up. Not really too sure. Our pitching has been okay. I mean, Matt Moore has been absolutely phenomenal. But other than that, I'd say our pitching has been decent. You know, I wouldn't say it's amazing. But Matt Moore, here we go. One, two count. And he's going to get Matt Joyce to go strike out swinging on that slider right there. Matt Moore really had a slider working. I think Joyce swung and missed at least two of those that uh, on that at bat. Here's Kyle Seeger. Kyle Seeger is going to end up swinging and missing as well as he did go around, according to the third base umpire. That's going to be the third and final out 
of the inning, and we're going to head into the later innings top three here. One, two, count to George Springer, and Springer's going to go down with an on that circle change. Moore left that one up, but it was such a good pitch that Springer still couldn't do anything about it. So here we go now, bottom three, Giancarlo standing up, Danny Holton still on the mound, and standing into the deep left center field. That one is back, and that's a no-doubter. That is going to go all the way to, like, the deepest part of the park in those really deep stands right there. I mean, Giancarlo Stan absolutely crushed this one. It is hit far and far and far again. 453 feet. That was incredible. Giancarlo Stanton just absolutely crushing it. Just coming up big in the World Series. You know, could be his last could be his last series on the Miami Marlins. He's heading towards free agency. A lot like Albert Pools in the 2011 World Series, where that turned out to be the last games of his St. Louis Cardinals career. Could be a similar situation here, but here we go. Matt Moore once again, this time getting Martyr on the fastball away. Marta goes down. Here we go. One, two count to Jesus Montero. And Montero is going to end up striking out looking on that fastball right there. So 12 up, 12 down so far for Matt Moore. And can we continue the perfect game? 3-2 count. Vinny Machado is going to walk right there on the running fastball. Left that one up. And we get a base runner here in the fourth inning, I believe. So Hisashi Iwakuma is going to come in and relief for Danny Holson. That would end Holson's day. Iwakuma's had a phenomenal year in real life, but He's doing very poorly in these postseasons so far. So he has a really long windup and stretch. So I took advantage of that right there. Vinny Machado gets the stolen base. We got a runner on second with one out. Matt Moore up now. And Matt Moore is going to take this one into right field for a base hit. Machado rounding third. He's going to try and head home. The throw is going to be not in time. Moore's heading for second. He's in there safely. And Matt Moore gets himself an RBI single. So here's Xander Bogarts. Bogarts is going to hit that one into deep right field. Saunders is going back. It's in foul territory. He will make the catch running up against the wall. Moore tagging, heading for third. He'll be in there easily. We got a runner on third with two away. Rob Brantley up next. You can see that long stretch motion from Asashi Iwakuma. Brantley's going to get a base hit right there into left field, and it's going to be an RBI single. We extend our lead now. Eight to nothing is your score. Here we go. Giancarlo standing up. 2-2 count. Iwakuma will kick and deal, and wow, he let that curveball hang right there. That must have been a 70-mile-an-hour curveball that he just let hang right over the plate. To Giancarlo Stanton, no, no, no. You're not getting that by him. That was absolutely crushed. Another moonshot by Stanton. And we have a 10 to nothing lead in this ball game. An absolute blowout in game one of the World Series. It's been incredible so far. The Marlins are really showing out, trying to prove that they are the best team in this league at this point. And I know that I'm putting up some gaudy offensive stats, but keep in mind that we do have probably the best team in this franchise at this point. So, you know, keep that in mind when you, you're thinking that it's a little too easy. I mean, it's kind of supposed to be that in, in a sense of a way. But either way, that would be another 453-footer. That was actually the exact same distance, if I remember correctly. It's pretty incredible. So later in the inning, Horace is going to pop this one up to Michael Saunders, and that is going to end the inning. Finally, they get it out of the fourth. But after four, it's already 10 to nothing. Top five, Matt Joyce up 0-2 count. Now, I had actually taken a break from the game. I had saved and quit and came back like six hours later. And uh, for some reason, all of Matt Moore's pitching confidence was like down. And man, it was annoying. So I had to build that back up. And in the meantime, I allowed my first hit to Matt Joyce. But Justin Smoke's got to go now swinging right there on the two seam. And now later in the inning, a 1-2 count to Kyle Seager. And Seager is going to end up looking at that slider right there. Dirty, dirty pitch by Matt Moore. And Moore is going to end up eventually getting out of the inning. As this is going to be the, still the top five. 0-2 count. Here's Michael Saunders. And Saunders is going to pop this one up. Two center field, Solaire is over, and he will make the catch. So Morris Anders has first hit, but gets the next three guys in a row, and that will retire the side. So here we go, top six. It's going to be Dustin Ackley. We'd fill in for George Springer after Springer did suffer a shoulder injury, I believe. So Ackley is going to go down in his first at-bat of the game. And now top seven, it's going to be Matt Joyce up once again, the only man with the hit so far today. And Joyce will go down looking on that circle change. Matt Moore is pitching phenomenally at this point. Just that one hit allowed. Top eight. Here is Michael Saunders. Saunders is going to ground this one to Matt Moore. He will fire onto first. And it's been eight innings of one hit ball so far for the phenomenal ace. A phenomenal performance by our guy here. So here's Dustin Ackley. One, two count. Moore was getting awfully tired at this point. And it was only a matter of moments before, or a matter of time, I should say, before someone ripped one off him. As Dustin Ackley does right there down the first baseline. And that is going to be a leadoff double in the ninth inning. It's a 10 nothing score. So I decided to leave more in, even though he was absolutely gassed at this point. He actually had no energy left. That's going to be a base hit back up the middle, and that is going to score Dustin Ackley. So 
Morrison renders his first run of the game. He loses the shutout, but now Jesus Montero will be up the 1 1 count to Montero, and Montero is going to ground this one to Bogarts at short. He will make the running throw to first, and that will retire the side. Matt Moore, the complete game, one run, three hitter, 11 strikeouts, and you know, two of those hits and one of those runs came in the last inning. So the first eight innings of Matt Moore tonight, absolutely phenomenal. Believe it or not, his ERA actually went up after this game. It was 0 0.41 heading in, it's 0.58 coming out. I think we'll take it. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this video, so I thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy, and so I'm out. Peace.